Hey everybody, welcome back to another awesome After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and we're on the New Boston's YouTube channel. So, this time around we are going to learn about roving keyframes. And once I show you this, you're going to probably crap your pants. Actually not, but you'll probably be a little bit happy. <laughs> So let's uh, start the tutorial and I'll explain what roving keyframes do. When sometime I created, actually I created this, uh, this animation and I added a decent amount of keyframes all over the place on purpose at different speeds and everything. You, you notice that it's gonna go slow down this motion path right here and a little bit faster on this motion path right there between keyframes. And I'll show you what it looks like in a preview real quick so say you thought this was perfect and your client decides to change his mind and goes uh, I think I want all these keyframes to be the same speed I don't want them to move at different speeds anymore and you're like oh man now I gotta go through and edit all these keyframes again well you don't have to so I'm gonna show you by using roving keyframes how you can smooth it out so click on your graph editor here and uh, click on position and we'll hide the uh, these uh, reference there so make sure you're in the edit speed graph now all you gotta do is select all of the keyframes and right click on a keyframe and click on rove across time now you can see that all the motion path is all the same speed now and it changed in the in the graph editor too to be all one speed so I'll do a quick preview and you can see it's all one speed there Now, only uh, properties that create motion paths can be robed. So things like anchor point, position, and um, I think there's something called effect point that I haven't gone over yet. But just things like that that create motion paths are the only things that can be robed. So just uh, keep that in mind. Now the way to make the keyframes so they're not uh, roving anymore and to uh, so you can like edit it, edit them differently, you can right click, well select all your frames or whatever whatever keyframe that you want and right click on it and just uh, uncheck the rove across time. Now you can get your uh, Bezier handles and maybe move things around. I'm going to hit Control Z to get back on to uh, roving keyframes. So let's make sure all these are roved real quick. Yep. And I wanted to show you what happens if you uh, easy ease your keyframes. So let's uh, use an easy ease at the end one. Remember, it's this button down here. And then the beginning one. You can see how it creates like a nice arc there. And I'll play it for you. It's going to accelerate and then decelerate. It makes a pretty, pretty nice smooth motion. And uh, a lot of times a client will be happy with a, a motion like this. I mean, not, not like all jaggedy and stuff like that, but how it is nice and smooth. So. So that's it for roving keyframes. Hopefully it's a huge time saver for you guys. Um, a lot of times clients change their minds and it does get really annoying when that happens because sometimes they don't realize how long it takes to do something and I mean, frankly, they don't care. <laughs> so you just gotta do your job and uh, be prepared for change like that. And by knowing these uh, kind of tips, you can save yourself a lot of time. So, see you guys later on the next tutorial. Have a good one.